Oh, shit. <laughs> I thought I could make you scare from that side, but you could already see me. Yo, what up, guys? Welcome back to my YouTube channel. As you might have seen by the thumbnail and title, we're doing something different today. Yes, I have never done this before. I get out of this spectrum, not because I don't like technology. It's because I'm just not like very detailed about it. I don't go in depth a little bit into it, but it's just a surface, you know, it's just a surface. I, I couldn't avoid this one. A day ago, Apple released some new products and some of them are very mag magnificent. I already saw some pictures and memes, but you know what? Let's change the pace of this channel a bit. Let me react to some new Apple technology. Always a hit or a big fat miss. I have my doubts about this one. But before we're gonna jump into it, I would like you to subscribe. Okay. Very good, thank you. Disclaimer, I'm here for entertainment purposes. If you're looking for a in-depth technology, very well argumented uh, about this whole product, <laughs> not your guy, I'm not your guy. But let's jump right into it. Introducing Apple Vision Pro. Okay. I do have to say though, I think it's more styleful, but it also does remind me a little bit about the glasses of Among Us. <laughs> I'm just saying, in the winter, you know, getting your hoodie up, having these things on, it will get there. Suddenly we're murdering each other. <laughs> you see your world and everything in it. Your favorite apps live right in front of you. But now... Oh yeah, we need that. We need more technology in our life. More pop-ups and more signs. Shit, my hat's already bursting from all the fucking notifications that I'm getting. On the other hand, I love this. Virtual and real virtual reality. That's what virtual reality is even. <sighs> but I love the fact that we can like somehow combine technology and real together. Apple's first ever spatial operating system. It's familiar yet groundbreaking. You navigate with your eyes. Okay, that's sick. Sensors your eyes, so it should have sensors inside it, I suppose. Simply tap to select. How do you tap? Simply tap. How do you how do you tap? Widen your eyes. <laughs> Stupid. Flick to scroll. And use your voice to dictate. It's like magic. Oh wait, it uses your hands sensors and maybe probably cameras okay react to light and cast shadows i don't need to cast more shadows i have i have been enough in shadows it looks sounds and feels like they are physically there <laughs> <laughs> i'm always wondering how they get like these type of videos and they always show you these happy videos someone spinning around and someone filming it and then you go back to gallery and you're gonna watch those videos and having a happy moment like no one fucking does that <laughs> if they would have a meme like or a video of a kid falling on tiktok or something that's realistic that's way more realistic vision pro is that you're not isolated from other people no but you look f fucking weird it looks weird. It looks like you have been studying to become an astronaut, but you failed and now you're on the couch like this. Like, still living in your dream. When someone else is in the room, you can see them and they can see you. Kinda! Like, they can see... <laughs> this just looks weird. It's just a beautiful smile, don't get me wrong, but it looks scary as fuck. This is the start of Among Us. And panoramas wrap around you as if you're right where you took them. That's very cool. I, okay, okay, I'm con I'm convinced about this part. I'm just wondering how, first of all, how this affects your eyes, and second of all, how crispy the photos are. Is it a computer-ish feeling? How real does it feel? Apple Vision Pro is Apple's first ever 3D camera. Now you can capture photos and videos with remarkable depth. On one hand, very couldn't they make the design just a little bit more human? You know, your kids look barely looking at you. <laughs> they can barely see your eyes. Like how this will go in a society that we live in. If they made it like more like this, that would be more acceptable. I know, I would feel more comfortable doing it like this. Experiences on Vision Pro can also expand in three dimensions filling the entirety of your space. 
what? This is cool, but also not cool at all. Yes, it's very cool having this images, especially when you're like maybe meditating and stuff, but that shouldn't come from a technology thing, like kind of strange in my way. Yeah. Where you can create a moment of calm. Imagine people that do drugs, like they will probably have the most fun with this or they go bamboozles. Vision Pro brings the scale and wonder of a movie theater to whatever space you're in. It automatically darkens and casts a beautiful glow into the room. Okay, see, that is cool. That is fucking cool. Like this brings movies to the next level. It feels like you're more into the movie 4D feeling, you know, but then wherever you are and whenever you want it. And you can make the screen as big as you want. Spatial audio. That is cool. Come on. Down. See, it makes you feel like you're a part of the action. And for an extraordinary cinematic... TVs wouldn't be needed anymore, right? Okay, in general, TVs are not very needed anymore. No, but now it's just irrelevant at this point. Beautiful environment and make your screen feel a hundred feet wide. Vision Pro is a wonderful way to play your favorite games. Curry against Smart. Just connect your controller. See, that's the thing. They make it so crisp and clear. I'm not sure. I, I don't know if it's that, that good. With Apple Vision Pro. Hey, yo, Apple, just one question, okay? Why is everyone living in this minimalistic, futuristic house? Is everyone sitting so, so tight and so direct? Everything is in square. <laughs> Like, are we getting into robot mode now? You already have robots. Put me in your marketing team, come on. <laughs> this could have been better. Could have been more human. Now it feels too, too much. Text is crisp and easy to read. Browsing the internet feels new. And Safari expands. You do everything with hand, right? Im <laughs> Imagine if you're scrolling. <laughs> I'm so secure, I'm so sorry. Your favorite apps from Apple and the App Store are there. I'm also wondering, she doesn't wear any headphones, don't have any over-ear or in-ear sound. So I'm wondering, how much do you hear and how much do other people hear? Or do you need to buy Apple AirPods? Or without the Apple AirPods, you can barely hear anything. So now you need to buy the Apple AirPods because that's more clean. You can arrange them however you like and work seamlessly across them. Oh, that's sick. Multiple screens. No, I don't need this huge ass desk that I have right now. I have three screens. I know I don't need it anyway. You see people life-size. And with spatial audio, you hear them as if they're right in front of you. So conversation is more natural. Okay, but what do they see? I wanna know what they see. And because you see the world around you, you can glance at a notification and even connect your Mac. Why would you need an Apple Watch if you have notifications on your fucking glasses? Wow. Think about it. They are selling you the smartwatch right now and the new Mac. On a plane. You can now watch a movie on a huge screen in a stunning location. And you control just how immersed you want to be. What does that mean? She turned button. Is that the audio and that what makes you more into the movie or? I know I should have watched the keynote. I'll do that later. Is remarkably compact and beautiful. A single piece of three dimensions. It looks like ski glasses in an Among Us package. Like it looks slick for a VR glasses. Too much if you're in a day to day basis for your work and everything. People around and stuff like that. There's no eyes <laughs> there's so much less expression not human and we designed a modular system so you can find the right fit the light seal keeps stray light from your eyes hey, that's also a thing now you don't get any light or less light on your face in your real eyes and you get like so how bad is it for your eyes can't be that good for your health right the headband is 3d knitted to provide cushioning breathability and stretch yeah, I need that for my big ass head. That stretch all the way is what it is. Because you wear Apple Vision Pro and your eyes are covered, we engineered a system that uses advanced machine learning to represent you realistically when you're in FaceTime. Okay, that's the answer that we got. More unhuman. Now you're having a face call with a holographic me. Like a really scary face. I just pose like and then they use that face. That would be great. Apple Vision Pro also features our most advanced spatial audio system ever. 
Personalized sound is delivered directionally to your ear. Then I'm still wondering what do other people hear? It can't be that that you can hear it very well and other people can barely hear it. I don't believe that. How annoying will it be if you're looking at something and you don't want other people to hear it? Your friend sending you memes through TikTok thing and then you open it and it's that moaning sound underneath it. Especially in planes because they can't see what you're looking at. Audio ray tracing uses sophisticated sensors to understand the materials and objects in your room. Sweet. They know what you have in your house. House, they know what to sell to you. A stunning new way to use the apps we love. I'm so curious how this feels and looks if you use it for a while. Like I'm not gonna spend that money because I, 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 I just can't. If I ever had the opportunity to really experience it then maybe I get a better feel to it. I'm just curious about a lot of things. Also a lot of things you don't know. How do you use this from day to day basis? How will it look? How will society look? Okay, here we go. Yeah. The design I would say. Very murderous intense among us vibes. On the other hand, looks slick. It's just for human interaction. It's just a bit weird. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video. It's a bit different than usual, but I thought it would be fun. Don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel if you haven't already. Okay, you probably haven't. Thank you, and I will see you in the...